Hello friends, welcome to our second tutorial on StatPro tutorial series. In previous tutorial, we had seen introduction and some basic concept on StatPro. And in this tutorial, we are going to see how actually the StatPro works or how StatPro is useful in analysis and design of the structure so watch this video till end to get the proper idea on how actually the stat pro works if you are new to our channel then consider subscribing and press the bell icon I will just shift this over here and here you can see the axis here it is x axis upper one is y axis and down one is z axis so we can see here this is x axis this is y axis this is z axis and if it is going beyond this origin point that is 0 0 0 coordinate then this might be minus z axis if x axis is going beyond this origin point backward then this might be minus x and similarly for y axis as well so one more thing if we want to draw any of the line or any of the member we can say we have to take a reference point so here in stat pro we have to take reference point as a origin and suppose we want to draw a beam of high meter so this is my origin point we call it node in stat pro and if you want to draw 5 meter of beam or member we have to mark another point at 5 meter of distance and just join these two point by a line so this is 5 meter now in this way we can draw the line similarly while doing in a stat pro how will we do we are just going to see i'll just cut it and I will give the primary coordinate that is initial coordinate at 0 0 0 so here is my here it's my origin point that is node over here now look at this problem this is the cantilever beam with 
20 kN of load at the free end having 5 m of span. Now if we are calculating manually and solving it out then 20 kN throughout will be our shear force and shear force diagram will be like this and similarly bending moment will be 100 kN meter at support end and at free end it will be 0 and bending moment diagram will be like this so how we can solve this problem in a stat flow for that we have to first draw this beam of a span 5 meter then we have to assign the load and we have to proceed further so let us do these things now I already have this origin point assigned over here and this is the node cursor node cursor is used to select the node and this is the beam cursor if we have member then we can select by using this cursor so this is my origin already assigned and we have to draw the beam of 5 meter so beam of 5 meter we have to draw so x axis is shown over here so length we can draw by using the coordinate 5 0 0 now this is the edge beam we will use this to join this two point and here is our beam and it's 5 meter so if we measure this then it will be shown as 5 meter okay now after doing this we'll just click on general then we will click on support because the support zone over here over here is fixed support so fixed support i'll be assigning over here before that we have to create the support because we don't have any support over here and this is fixed support already so i'll just click on add and my support has been added i have created my support for this problem so i'll click on this and i'll select on this node and i will click on assign to selected node and i now you can see the support over here similarly we have 20 kN of force at this free end now i'll click on property and in property section let us suppose the beam is of 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter that is 0 0.3 meter by 0 0.3 meter so i will define it first suppose this beam is rectangular beam so i'll just click on 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 and the material is concrete of course so after doing that i will select this beam by selecting with 
selecting it with the beam cursor now i will assign to selected beam and I now you can see it is r1 as a member after doing this i'll be assigning the load so i'll click on load cases detail i'll click on aid i'll click on dead load b l4 dead load then i'll click on live load ll and here live i'll edit now under dead load further i will add self load that is a self load of the member and under live and under live load this is the point load that is the nodal load nodal load in y direction that is downward direction so downward direction will due to downward direction we will be writing it minus and 20 kilo newton is there we have created the load over here now we have to assign the load so self weight we have to assign for whole member or whole structure so we can just click on that and assign to view assign it no self weight has been assigned because we can see the question marks has been removed and green signal has been appeared now we have to assign this live load at free end so i'll click on this I'll click on node cursor, I'll select the node, I'll select the load and I will click on assign to selected node. Assign it now. You can see it is here. So I'll just change the scale so that you can see clearly. This is point force. So I'll just increase it. You can see here. Okay. Now we have assigned the load of 20 kilonewton at free end. And further, I will click on analysis or print and I will aid the analysis perform analysis over here so once we are done with this i'll just cut it and i will click on analyze once we click on analyze then if our problem or if we have done it correct then it gives option for go to post processing mode because we have zero error zero warning and zero mode if we have error then we have to rectify the error then only it gives option to proceed further I'll click on this now you can see now you can see this is the graphs we can get and if you click here then you can see the bending moment that is mz and uh, if you want the result then just click on this and note it so here our maximum bending moment that is 
एट सपोर्ट इन हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन पर हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन मीटर सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैड डॉन मैनुअली एज वेल एंड इफ वी वॉन्ट टू चेक द सियर फोर्स इफ वी वॉन्ट टू चेक द सियर फोर्स देन वी हैव टू अनचेक दिस एंड वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन सियर सो एनोटेट नाउ माई मैक्सिमम सियर फोर्स इज ट्वेंटी किलो न्यूटन which we had got from our manual calculation as well so in this way we can solve this problem and it is very easy to solve if we know the things so just practice this and try to solve the another problem that i am going to display on the screen try to solve this problem by your own and we'll be discussing this problem in our next tutorial